So I've been getting a lot of questions about how to level my Rage Vortex Berserker. Here's a brief overview of the method I used. Honestly, I think this can be applied to any melee build based around the bottom left of the tree, though you'll probably get the best results from Berserker since the Ascendancy gives you so much damage. Now, I'm not the best at leveling. I normally just make it up as I go. I used to do the whole Hollow Palm Twink leveling setup, but I got tired of having to prep for like an hour every time. Not to mention, you usually need to like fully respec afterwards too. Even though I was just doing whatever, the setup I stumbled upon felt pretty on par with Hollow Palm Smite for me, and all you need are a couple of 1C uniques. So the main skills we're gonna use are Earth Shatter and Ground Slam. We'll just mostly be using Ground Slam when running through zones and then alternate between Earth Shatter and Ground Slam on bosses. We do this because Earth Shatter leaves stuff on the ground that Ground Slam can explode. This is part of the reason why we're able to delete Act bosses. I ran this in a double 5 link setup with a tabula to save sockets. You can go 6 and 4 if you want, or 4 and 4 if you don't have access to a 6 link. For support gems, you want to just pick up anything that scales physical melee AoE damage. For example, like Melee Fizz, Fist of War, Close Combat, Pulverize. For auras, Purity of Elements plus whatever you can fit in. Make sure you pick up War Banner and Intimidating Cry when you can, cause those are crucial to our one-shot combo. Early on, before you get access to your gems, feel free to use whatever gives you damage. It's also worth using Onslaught support until you get another source of Onslaught. At level 10, you get Leap Slam, which will be your main method of movement. It'll be faster than just running. Level 12, you get Earth Shatter, so pick that up right before Merveil and you're good to go. As for uniques, there's one thing I can't recommend enough, Rigwald's Crest. Once you get to level 20 and put this thing on, you'll feel like a god. Other than the weapons, everything else is up to you depending on how much you want to invest into leveling. You can honestly just stick with the typical Gold Rim Wanderlust, or 7 League Step if you want to spend 100c, and Tabula from level 1 all the way to endgame, but you have some options too. At level 1, you can get 2 Blackheart Rings and you'll pretty much one-shot everything. At level 5, you get Ondar's Clasp and Kadoe Ward. The replica one's better here, but it's more expensive. At level 15, you can pick up a Flesh and Spirit for the Rampage. Level 18, you can use Thrill Steel if you want to go fast all the time. Then you can replace the Onslaught gem with something else. Level 20, Rigwald's Crest. If you watched my video on underrated uniques, you'll know that I think this is the best leveling item in the game. Essentially, it summons wolves on kill, the wolves do a lot of damage early on, only falling off in the later acts, and they also give you a huge flat physical damage buff. The other ring, you can stick with Blackheart if you want, I used a Lehoop of All, Mark of Submission is a good option to apply vulnerability, and Praxis is good if you're running into mana issues. At level 41, you get Worm's Molt, and all your sustain issues are solved. For weapons, we'll be using axes. Early on, just pick up whatever two-hand weapon you can equip that does the most damage from either the ground or the vendor, and use the Rustic Sash recipe to give it more damage. The recipe is just a white weapon and a blacksmith's whetstone, along with a magic or rare Rustic Sash. The rare sash will add a level 8 requirement, so use the blue one before then. At level 18, you get Wide Swing, level 33, Reaper's Pursuit. At level 45, if you find that you need more damage, you can pick up a The Blood Reaper, at level 58, you get Calm's Primacy. Probably want to put in a Ridge support at this point. Hopefully, you were already leveling one, and you can use this setup all the way to maps. As for the tree, rush Resolute Technique and take out the two hand and axe damage nodes that are nearby. Also, life, I guess, if you're into that. Other keystones you want to go for ASAP are Call to Arms and Unwavering Stance. The two hand and axe masteries are also really strong. If you're using Thrill Steel, take the Onslaught Effect Axe Mastery. The Corpse Destruction one is also really good because you get cool explosions, and it counters those porcupines. Here's an example for a Berserker. For Ascendancies, you take Aspect of Carnage first, and then by the time you switch to Calm's Primacy, you take Warbringer. I'll link the POB below. So yeah, you just Leap Slam everywhere, make sure you have it linked to faster attacks, Endurance Charge on Stun is also good. Ground Slam itself should one-shot trash mobs. On rares, you might need to use Intimidating Cry into Earth Shatter and then Ground Slam. It exerts both attacks, so you get two juicy hits. And on bosses, you use Intimidating Cry, drop your War Banner, Earth Shatter, Ground Slam, and watch their HP bar disappear. I didn't do this on my playthrough, but I found out you can pre-stack a few layers of rocks with Earth Shatter, so if anything has a little animation at the beginning, you can Earth Shatter the ground twice before you do your combo. Make sure you have some stuff to kill right before the boss room, so you can refresh your wolves durations, cause they're a lot of your damage. There are some bosses that take way too long and your wolves disappear, but you should be fine especially since you can easily stack Earth Shatters beforehand. 
yeah, that's about it. If you guys try this out, let me know how it went in the comments.